Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. So, yeah, last time we didn't really make a lot of progression. We started on uh, making work of this rogue. And I butchered a lot of text. I can't promise anything else than that. But, you know, at least, at least we can actually try getting done with Lord of Inferno. Because we've been watching that for like three hours now the entire title. Uh, let's click social over there, okay. So, we just finished this mission where we rescued a bunch of slaves. Or to be slaves, lucky we were in time. And we were challenged by someone of the yellow jacket, some captain. So, yeah, we'll, uh, let's go to the, to the guild master, see what he wants. Oh, you look, wait, that looks fancy. Holy crap. Nice. I love that sort of a dress. Hey, okay, let's go first person because it's always so much nicer just to watch people. Uh, Aoife District and Fisherman's Guild. I, I do hope, I do hope. Eventually reading becomes easier for me. I, um... I got myself a new book today, uh, the first book of Wheels of Time or something. I know it's a series on Netflix, but I'm not sure how well it actually is. Like, is it is it good? Is it actually good? I think my mic is a bit low, I kind of want to change that right now. It's always because it's night. There you go, that would be five. Five would be enough. Yeah. There we go. Get that done. Let's go here. With this fella. Yep, 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 yep. Let's head inside. We are a rogue. And we'll get it done. Let's get going. Uh, and try not to butcher anything dear old Jake says. It's Jack. Jackie. Jackie, how do you pronounce this E? I don't know. For a wee lass that Milalis. Milalos. Got some bollocks. Yeah, okay, well, she has, but I think she's kind of, I don't know, insane. And it seems she's done well with. Uh, she's. It seems she's done. She's well done with odd. What whiffs a pirate stock? Okay, so this, this guy talks like, like me after a scotch. Hmm. I don't take kindly to coals pulling me strings, but the screw is the but the screw is right. The code's been broken. We've got a job to do. I like that he still goes after this. For the sounds of it, though, the coves knew what they were about when they clawed the treasure. I need you. I need you at your best. It's time for you to learn uh, the art of muggin. Oh yeah, we were reading about that. Yeah, we did. Um, rough up a coal in just the right way, and you'll give up more than. Yeah, this, this actually, if it is used before he dies, or it is used upon death of the target, then you will get more drops. Oh, we're going to be. That makes. That makes absolutely. That is so cool. We're going to be making a lot more uh, monster drops then. Wow, that's that is great. Let me get a sip of my coffee here. So me and the lads uh, will be busy whittling the story on them bitten bulb bulbs. So you're free to head out and sharpen your skill. Might even be as you'll pick some extra blunt here at you. Fine, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, do we have any of this? I don't think so. I think this is still Disciple of War. Any in, in here that actually is... Uh, this is Weaving. Hmm. All of it actually seems very, very good. Might as well go with a cotton shirt. 
have any shoes here? Okay, we have shoes over here. Plunderous Sabaton. And I think... We could turn these on. Plunderous Gauntlets. So, no boots. No gloves. How about a top? That's a plus seven. Cotton shirt. Bronze curious. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is even better. And the goggles. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just take the money. It's fine, we'll, we'll just take the money. I know I don't dress as a rogue. I'm interested in this mugging skill. Let's take a look here. Equip that. Uh, why, if I zoom in, it's always... Why can't I just not zoom in on the, on the face instead of the crotch? Can I actually use this? Oh no, this is actually class restricted. Oh, I feel stupid. Same here. Oh no. Yeah, I messed up. This one we can actually use. This one we cannot. Okay, we might as well just buy some gear then. Equip new blades. Update that. Yeah, I think I do want to get some new stuff. I do need to clean up my... How do you call it? My armory. Okay, this is level 20 now. So it means that we have some time. Okay, that... I think it's a lot of these... Um, Aura? Aura characters that go the rogue way. And I think I know why. What the hell is going on there? Are these actual people? Were they always there? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Wow. No, they're NPC. They're, they're, they're not named. Let us go to Hawk's Alley. And we'll, we'll check out some of the gear. Uh, Battlecraft, I think. Uh, yeah, up to level 19. Oh, these are just weapons. Never mind. Fieldcraft. Is that... Oh, okay, we need, we need to go the other way. Go run. I don't think the skirt fits the rest of the outfit at all. Um, so, we'll be doing another event like in a week or two. And we kind of still need a few more. So, if you're on Adamant Toys, uh, hit me up. Let's go with War. 10 to 19. Oh, these are so... They're all like heavy armor looking. Hmm. This is the hunting hat we would have actually gotten. But it's not as good. Then it means that the other one is in here as well. The yellow one. The cotton shirt. Or we could have done this one. Strength, dexterity, skill speed. Skill speed is... I think it's skill speed is going to be actually very handy. Let's get that. Uh, we're level 17. Uh, no, we're level 16. Let's go with this one. Okay, this is not better... So, I'm not going to take that. Let's go. Let's, let's see how we look once we're done. Oh, never mind. I feel... I feel like I need pens. 
It's fine. We we have a skirt on. Every this is nothing in the world that could go through a skirt. It's it's what it's always been. Uh, we could sell these. What's the point in doing that? Let us take a look at hunts. Because this should actually bring us close enough. We need to go to Upper Lunostra and Oakwood. Huh? Do a dungeon. I'll ask if anyone's interested in either level 15 or 16. While well, we head over to... It's upper, right? Yeah, it's upper. I've never been there. Uh, we need to go to Illport and then move up. Yeah, I don't like the goggles. I also need new accessory. I always forget accessory. We go all the way over there. We could do the smith. Oh, that is boring. That is so boring, I don't want to. Uh, he's in a duty, so that is not going to work. He's in a duty as a... A botanist. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. We'll get it done. Uh, I wonder if we are able to get close enough to get like the next level. Speaking of which, uh, actions. Let's do this one. And do reduced rates as well. Here we go. They're both level 20. Let's start with these uh, bumblebees. Now we have Muggin. Delivers an attack with a potency of 150. Additional effect. Increased targets de uh, damage. Taken by 5. Duration is 20 seconds. Increases the chance of additional items being dropped. If the target... Uh, if by the target if Mug is dealt before or as the finishing blow. Not sure if I want leg sweep over here, but let's uh, let's let's try this. Okay, let's do. Wait, we didn't get muck. Wait, we're not doing any damage. Okay, can we do a muck? Okay, did we get more though? Not really. That is... Wow, that cooldown. Holy crap, that's... That's two minutes. Okay. Wow. Um, That is not a skill that goes there. No, that's just too much. Too much cooldown. Also, what do you guys think if I do, like, screenshots in my back? Just to hide, like, this... Bollocks chat bar. do this stun because he's annoying oh okay well that's fine let's do f7 i don't want to be hit by him and if i get hit i want to be careful now this cure potency is nice but we don't have any min so it's never as effective as, as any of the skills the white mage does oh that was actually easier than the other one Yeah, I think we'll um, we'll do a dungeon, or at least queue it up because it might take some time. Okay, let's go with F8 so we get some of the HP back. That is such a beat skill. Okay, we're going to be fighting too. Interesting. Just stay away from their specials, and we'll be fine. To stun. Next. We could also do a leaf. 
to get another level. Okay, we're not hitting him as hard as the other one. Why is that? Okay, level 17 close to level 18. Is that enough? No, we need a dungeon. And we can do Copper Bell Mine as well. We can just do Guild Heist. We could do Guild Heist and Roulette. Guild Heist is not going to be that interesting. Well, we'll queue it up. See what happens. We might as well just try to get another level by killing more of these wolves. Do we? No, we need to be like rank 3. That's a bloody shame. Yeah. It is a faith. Oh, we could do faith. We could definitely do a faith. Looking very forward to like the next skill. Um, what's this faith about? Or mage misfortune? Oh, okay. So it's a rescue mission. Let's go. Damsel in distress. Okay, well, let's take a look. What's going on? Um, looking for poor maiden meal cannot be seen to catch a break. Okay, so they... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. They've been rounded up. That man is massive. Oh, we can actually commence. Let's go. Let's go do the, um... This thing. So... I... I wonder if they'll pull him out. This is under the armor, I think. Yeah, under the armor. Oh, wow. Man, you look cool. Why don't we pull them out? Okay, that's fine. We, we, we don't have to. We don't have to if you don't want to. We have to pull them out. Alright, that's it. We got trick attack. We've leveled up. So that's cool. Alright, operation was a success. Okay, give me... Oh, that is a nice reward. Oh, I forgot the recommendation. I feel so bad. Uh, we now have trick attack. Lives in attack with a bonus of 300, 400 when executed from the target's rear. Increases damage you deal target by 10%. Can only be executed while under the effect of hidden. Now let's, let's try it out. Wow, insta-kill. Love that. But, yeah, we probably won't be using it as much. Let's just deal with this. Okay, kick him. There we go. Big one. Big one time. It's huge, this slasher. This is actually the one that we, I think we need to kill. Okay, we can do mug with it. That's not going to help us. Let's go deal with this. Why is there so many? Like, they're grouped up like crazy. I got paralyzed on me now. I'll do my best. Can we actually do Lord of the... Not yet. Oh, come on, man. We're like level 19. What are you talking about? Why won't you let me continue? Dude, why do I need to be like level 20 completely? 
Okay, let's go with Blob first. Get that HP up. Get F7 in there as well. Uh, what's it called? Shade Swift. Man, that is spawning like crazy. Like, who's tanking this? Slasher's halfway there. I do want to queue up for a dungeon. This this will most likely level me up like crazy. We'll get a chain bonus, like seven seconds remaining. Okay, I messed up my rotation there. Need to remember that not not to do that. Yeah, this is annoying. The paralyzation is annoying. Uh, at least we keep the chain going and we're getting a 244 additional experience who's online only helen is doing other stuff oh we're gonna get some help okay let's go with f8 again block first block path Hey, come on, what are you doing? Come and fight with me. No, you're leaving. <laughs> Why? Why would you leave? You're making me jealous with that mount. <sighs> so sad. So sad. No dedication. What are these guys like doing? Like, I don't even know. Yeah, this is not as useful, unfortunately. It's like hidden triple attack. Maybe at, at, at some point it, it will be different. Like, if you have experience with that, do let me know. What the hell is that? Another Tatsu. What are you guys... You, you're waiting until... Are you kidding me? Oh, I think the one just died. The one tanking the boss. And they're going to be taking all of the glory, aren't they? There we go. We got an achievement, the old maid. Apparently it was something for an achievement. Uh, level 18? Is that enough? Still not. Interesting. Uh, we'll do a... Roulette. I wonder which one it's going to be. Now, I wish you could change like halfway through. Like, if, you, if we go do this one right now. You can't change back to a rogue. And I want to level that up. To level 20, because... We might just get a new core skill, I don't know. Hmm. Dead Blossom is the only one? An area of effect. And this one. Gust Slash. That's not a lot of skills, actually. Huh. Okay, never mind. Where do we go? Where do we go?
5 minutes average time. People are getting back. I don't think it's going to be 5 minutes. <laughs> What's this person doing? Okay. What was that? Ah, uh, Link Shell. Maybe Keisha is there. No. Shame. I don't want to do any dungeon with an NPC party. I don't like it. It's so slow. Oof, it's so slow. Uh, what can we do that helps? Uh, well, we could kill a bit more. These are level 15. Um... Yeah, we'll just start killing here until we get the dungeon entrance. He should go really fast. Yeah, this is actually going really fast. XP is almost done. Maybe next level will be enough. Get some bat wings. Level up. Let's take a look. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Actually have to be level 20, huh? Well, at least once we hit level 20, we'll get new hunts. And we can do the MSQ. If we do find ourselves in a situation like this, we can just let it be. We can just do a hunt, get that level, go back to the MSQ. Anything useful. That's a meat. Well, everything is for sale, so that's basically no. The wolf things, they might be interesting. But we have to go back to level 20 area then. Uh, roll waiting number three. So there's two others waiting. What is this a faith? There you go, that was easy. What I need to do is I need a cheering, a cheering emoji. Um, you have cheer. Let's do happy. Oh my god. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, that that's the one that we need. What is? That, what what the hell is he doing? <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Why? I don't know man. Maybe I'll eventually revert back to just the male character. I don't know. It feels so awkward. Okay, 6 minutes 15. We're the first one. We're the next one in line. So what we can do... Is just head over here. Because that should actually level us. Let's go to Vesper Bay. 
there might actually be another blue quest that we still have to take. Because sometimes there's a blue quest over here. Yeah, there we go. Yes, this is Halaliti. Halatili. Hal Halatali. Hail there, adventurer. I'm Nick or Net. An explorer by trade and a scion by allegiance. And you, my friend, look to me an adventurer in need of a challenge. I hope to know just the I happen to know just the place that will offer it to you. Tucked away in a corner of the eastern Talalan lies a Tala Tali. And it is there that you will find all the excitement you crave. The place boasts a, a story a storied history. It was built some 100 years past as a training ground for gladiators. The calamity lay I think we want to commence this. The calamity lay in rooms though, as it did most things. Now Talaliti is a shadow of its former self, but in the dark of the shadow lurks wild beasts, both bloodthirsty and beyond count. For one such as yourselves, I dare say there is no place a finier than Talali test to skill and techniques. And yeah, okay. Let's do that. Okay, I was actually able to squeeze that in. <laughs> you don't want to let that run out too often, otherwise you might find yourself having a bit of an issue. Cam? Wow. You got to be kidding me, dude. One, actually, I don't want to drop back because I would ruin this Vesper Bay ticket I've used. So yeah, that's, that's awkward. Crafting Tome Vendor? Let's take a look what you have. Glam Prison. Wait, what? Wait, there's grades for smithing? I didn't even know there was differences in these. There we go. Let's commence it right away now before someone changes his mind. Now, which one is going to be? It is... Uh, Sastasia. Fine. This is a tragic hero. He looks like, um, yeah, he definitely looks like the guy from the cinematics. Yeah, he's doing nicely. Blood memo. Nah. Yeah, this should go really fast. As long as we don't get hit. I don't want to be bothered to the... Um, how do you call it? To the healer. I know how much of a pain in the ass it is when some party members are just not paying attention. I'm not going to attack because I know that he probably... Well, he has gear. It probably has tenacity. I'm thinking about using a mug against like the end boss. I also want to run the other dungeon as the Marauder. I need to get com uh, familiar with the Marauder as a character that I'll be using if I'm not doing that then eventually I will most likely stop using it I don't want to do that I wish I had a area of effect right now that would have been nice I'll take that as well
see what he does, that thing does. As long as he doesn't take the priest, it's good. What kind of priest do we have? This is a... Oh, wow, what's it called again? I have to check him out. This is a conjurer. Okay. He actually doesn't pull as much as I would think. Or maybe I over-pull. I think I do that a lot. Especially earlier dungeons where you don't have, like, skills that will keep the, aggra uh, the aggro. Alright, we'll start with one. I'll take the treasure chest when he's done, because I could use the gear. I uh, can't use this. I'll greet it nevertheless. Oh yeah, my inventory is very full with items that potentially... Yeah, I think I need to pass it. That's fine. Go. I love that it's called Tragic Hero. I'm, I wonder how we felt when he was entering uh, the later stages of Heaven's Ward, which is what I've just finished on my other character. I wonder. That was the wrong one. There's another one. They're wasting no time. We could have checked the scroll back there. Alright. Okay, Kuga. How's it called again? Kuga? Yeah, there we go. Koopa, Chopper. Chopper, never mind. Chopper will do. Alright, uh, let's throw a dagger. Keep throwing daggers, like if he's doing a skill, I'll, I'll go back to my area. Why not, right? Oh, he's doing a lot of them. Oh, he likes that. He likes that. Uh, Marauder, I'll greet. Can't do that, already have it. And I'll greet that. I don't think these are too useful. Already have that as well, never mind. Pass everything. No, oh, he's just okay. That's that's cool. That's cool. He's tanking everything in this room. I can't wait until we get like flashy attacks and all. I wonder if that's when you become like I think it's a rogue. No, not a rogue, an assassin. To me, Captain. Yeah, I think I do want to get this uh, class as a second. He's a black mage or a black mage to be. Come on, rogue. Uh, we got feet on the floor. Okay, this is the skill that increases. I think my movement speed. Yeah, feet on the floor increases movement speed for a rogue and a ninja. That's it, we don't become an assassin, we become a ninja. Ugh. Okay. Usually I would pull this group. Yeah, and he does the same. Cool. Yo, that is actually going to be quite good to travel. As long as we don't have a chocobo, we can always go back to, like, our rogue. To make sure we'll have enough speed just to go through every territory but I think we'll get it we'll get our chocobo very fast uh, once we done uh, we turn in the Lord of Inferno we should be able to pick a grand company and get a whistle key there's the key
Yeah, I shouldn't have moved. See, we're level 20 now. I think we should be. Yeah, 20. So I'm also skipping the night, so I don't mind not constantly reading. Some doggies going over here. Yes, cool gear. I wonder which one it actually is. Let's take a look. Holy crap! Yeah. Okay, this guy is high, high enough levels. <laughs> Let's make sure that the healer doesn't get attacked. Okay, you might overpull. I think he might just... Well, if we hurry it up, he will be fine. Let's make sure we we'll keep our... At least our F1 and F2 buttons going. Yeah, the healer spamming out. Nice. Way to go. I think one of these was actually the first time, so we'll... Uh... No, actually, they. Never mind. Let's go. Yeah, let him go with the first attack. Oh, you should have heard that. My dog is snoring like crazy. Will we actually see them jump up? Nope, we didn't. Another level up. In level 21 then, we got... Faint. Thank you for... Let's do the recommendation. Tank did great. Conjurer did great as well. And... I'll greet it. I think we should... Oh, actually we did not get that. Oh, we could use this. The boots. Really now. Yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Sure, we'll take it. Anything else that we could use? Oh, really? No. Okay, let's go. We can now finally do the Lord of Inferno. So let's um, let's go to Melphilia. And we also have a class quest. What's this feint? Lowest targets physical damage dealt by 10% and magical damage dealt by 5. Okay. Sure. Don't 
really see the use to it. Like, maybe the leg swap is not that useful either, but... With the amount of skills we have, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Here we are. Ah, the triumphant hero returns. Um, Tenshra told us the news upon his arrival. He is presently in the Sola, giving a full report to Lady Minfilia. You should join them at once. Lady Minfilia is most eager to see you. And we get ourselves a wristband. We'll have to check if it's better. My later arrival nearly cost us Una her life. I wasn't there when the Al Majar took a prisoner. And I wasn't there when they um served her to Ifrit. Okay. Yeah man, you, you effed up, dude. I don't know what your deal is. Yes, by some miracles she survived, but that does not exclude the fact that she should never had to face such a danger alone. I failed her utterly. Just as I'm failing you all. Slap him. What's done is done, Tenshut. Um, you can ill blame yourself for every... Yeah. You're you being way too easy on him. Una, it's good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. I just finished regaling Minfilia with your heroic exploits. Tenshut told me everything... You have done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I had, n I had no cause to fear. And now we can put, put pay to our long investigation, as we suspect that the Al Majar undertook both the robbery and the abductions with the aid of summoning, um, and the abductions with the aid of summoning their primal Ifrit. With the aid. Nor is this tale limited to Uldar. Similar incidents have been rifled in both Limsa and Gordania of late. I dare say you've been curious as how these crimes are linked to the primals. Permit me to explain. All right, permit him to explain. That's going to be taking a while. Having manifested in a physical realm, primals must consume ether if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more ether they require. Now, ether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and permit permits permites permits whatever a very uh, the very air that we breathe. Alas, this alone will not suffice to sustain the likes of Ifrit. Nay, he and his kid uh, kind. Uh, require a more concentrated source of ether crystals. Um, it is for this reason that incidents involving crystals can often be tracked back to primal, which leaves, uh, which leaves us with the why of the abductions. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. When all is well with the world, primal primals poses no physical form. Their essence is dispersed uh, across the great river of ether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals crowd to their gods for deliverance uh, from deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which a primal essence is irresistibly drawn. Okay. It is this coming together or etheric coalescence which grants the being's physical form once born a primal uh, uh, gains strength from its followers worship the more numerous the end fervor they are the more powerful their god becomes but the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence as their adherent freely given give and in order to gain more power, they do not sculpt to create followers. Oh, they create... F oh, okay. They do this by tempting mortals. A process 
to which you yourself were subject. Yet, even as Ifrit took your comrades to his troll, you alone remained unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. We, not, we know not why of it, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. It is as though a greater power protects us. When first you come to us, I told you that the Echo could be instrumental in dealing with a primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. True. The recent incidents all share a common thread. Meticulous planning? Such elaborate designs are a new development, and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While I, st while I share your concern, my presiding feelings is one of relief at your safe return. Okay, that's the first time actually someone says, that. hey, I'm happy you're back. Ah, the immortal flames assure me that they will deal with the aftermath. So you see no concern, so you need not concern yourself with that. We may rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Una. You may be sure it won't you you may be sure it won't last long. Once the people learn the identity of the hero who felt Ifrit, I fear you will have nary a moment to yourself. Then keep it secret. Okay, well I'm not liking why are you eyeballing me like that, but um, whether she attends it or no, Minfilia neglect to tell you something. Something I take, think I would be better, it would be best to hear from one of us. It concerns the tempered adoptees that were rescued. I am sorry to report that all are to be put to death. The flames with whom you were imprisoned included, oh my. Needless to say, this information must not be made known to the public. I swear to you that we could not do this. We would not do this if there were any, any other uh, recourse. But once a man is tempted, he is tempted for life. His very existence led strength to the primal who he cannot choose but worship. And so we sons continue our fight. And no more innocence, that no more innocents need to be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us, Une. You just tell me you're butchering everyone. But I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for the loss of his people suffered. Till next time. Okay. That's incredibly harsh. God forgive me. How many more lives Louis Swan would never have allowed this to happen? I have to do better. I have to be stronger. He sure loves talking to himself though. Okay, so uh, a hero in the making. Uh, let me get something to drink real quick. Uh, anyone still online? They are, but they're just doing other stuff.
Okay, let's go. Let's talk to Minfilia, hero in the making. While well, I have something to drink, Minfilia is wearing a wry smile. Oh, here we go, guys. The We're going to be choosing a great company. Not uh, until not so very long ago. You were one but many adventurers seeking to make their way into Asia. Eorzea. Wow. But for your character and courage, you were you were raised to the esteemed post of envoy. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, we were envoy. Thereafter, you traveled the realm, aiding those in need without thought of reward. Uh, confirming to Estolia that the science would benefit from your aid. And now, and no sooner, you had joined us than you personally bested the primal Ifrit. You may achieved a great deal in a short time, and won fame in so doing. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. We have guessed, Una, or rather, you have guessed. Back pardons. Ah, Lady Menfilia, radiant as always. I am given to understand that the Sons of the Seven Dawn have but recently welcomed a new hero in their midst. I am here on behalf of the Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limsa Laminza, to offer Sei Hero a place of honor within our ranks. I think I am actually going for the Maelstrom. It doesn't really matter at all. You can always, you know, switch. Uh, once you reach the rank of... I think Lieutenant? As you can see, Una, your uh, recent exploits have garnered you the attention of the Grand Companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have Ifrit's bane for its own. To the end, all three have sent officers to court you. Please don't court me. They would, uh, they would not ordinarily go to such length to enlist the new recruits that they have... That they have is evidence of your high regard to you. I found myself wondering how word of Una's deed spread so quickly. Oh, that the immortal flames would know of her triumphs to be is to be expected. But what of the other grand companies? Yep. <laughs> your reputation precedes you, Miss Doshin. It is not or it it's no ordinary woman who can face a primal and emerge a victor. The Order of the Twin Edda has need of a valiant woman such as you. Join our strength of ours. Join your strengths to ours. Um and together uh, let us ensure that peace ever reigning over the twelfth wood. I, I have no need for the twelfth wood. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you, Miss Doshin. My comrade speaks of you in a most glowing term. A woman of your talents belongs to the immortal flames. Join our strength to uh, join your strength to us. And together let us secure the uh, prosperous future for Ulda. Well, I like the, the story of Ulda though. The Admiral has not exaggerating when I said you, you looked of a hero. Full often does he speak of you, friend. As do many others in Limsa. Long before the rest of yours had took note, your name was well known to us. Owing to your various deeds on behalf of our citizens, it is only natural that we want you, want you to join the Maelstrom. Your strength, join your strength to ours. And together let us see the grand vessel of Limsa Liminza. 
to the shores of glory. Does sound good though. I'm like eyeballing like what the hell is going on here. Lady Menphilia. Ah, oh, very well. <clears throat> though I'm quite surprised you need not reminding. Perhaps a brief summary of the situation would help to cl clarify your thoughts of this matter. As you know, the Grand Companies are a well-encompassing organization empowered to call upon the martial, economic and technologi to technological resources of their respected city-states in times of strife. They are presently free, uh, there are presently three such organizations in Neosia. The Maelstrom of Limsluminza, the Order of the Twin Edda of Gradania, and the Immortal Flames of Uldar. Serving the Grand Company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be changing or charging, charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. In return of your faithful service, you will be furnished with various rewards, some of which may well prove useful to you in other endeavors. In your other endeavors, you will agonize. Uh, if you are agonizing over which of the grand companies best serve your loyalty, be at ease. The commitment you make on this day need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, you are entitled to do so, and yet, I can see it that it's no small choice you face. Ah, as though as thought occurs to me, you will of course recall that the three city-states are planning to hold a remembrance service. Well, as part of the proceedings, I am given to understand that the leader of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing the addresses ought to help you make you, uh, an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? A fine suggestion. They didn't even know that. We're just... Oh, yeah, great. We're stuck with that. You are as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Very well. Let Une hear out our leader speak. Let Une hear our leader speak. Then return here with her decision. We eagerly await your answer. <clears throat> yeah, even even C is like, oh my god, they couldn't stop talking. I know fully well that adventurers are by their natures a liberty-loving breed and not best suited to the discipline of military service, but I strongly urge you to join a grand company never, uh, nonetheless. While the promise of reward is inciting itself, it's not the only benefit. You are possessed of great power, Une, and with it you are capable of doing untold good Yet know that great power is. Yet know that great power is wont to attract attention. Not all of it is friendly. There will be those who wish you ill, and you must need to be on the lookout for them. Yet, however vigilant you are, you are but you are but one woman, in the midst of a grand company. However, you will be one woman amongst many. A friend amongst friends, your achievements will be shared, and so will the danger. You can think of no better arrangement. Hi. Of course, joining one organization is not been leaving others. I hope that we can continue to rely upon your aid. The twelve know that we will have need of it in the days ahead. The Grand Company seek to protect their own nation. We, Scions, on the other hand, seek to protect the future of Eorzea as a whole. Similar, yet not quite the same. Now then, I expect that, I expect that you will be afield more often in the future. As such, I would have you carry this Link Pearl with 
yeah, I will. I would have you carry this link pill with you all the time. I will. It will allow us to stay in touch regardless of location. Yours is changing, Una, and you have the power to help shape it anew. None can say what the what the morrow will bring, but as long as we believe in ourselves, there is not we cannot achieve. Now, it is time that you make ready for your journey. Before you depart, be sure to speak to Ta Tataru. She will apprise you as to where and when the remember service are due to take place. So, which order will we do? Not sure yet. Let's see. Fishing. Uh, oh yeah, we need to speak to Tataru. And then... I think we go to Gridania, then Ulda, and then to the Maelstrom. I think I want to join the Maelstrom. Or Ulda. Shall we just join Ulda? I quite like Ulda. The city as well. Then again... Are yeah, you fast? Um... I'm sorry about all the attention you're getting, Une. I might have sung your praises a little too loud and often to a few too many people. Okay. Next time, I'll be sure to hold my tongue, literally, if necessary. Anyway, I expect, to, I expect you want to know where and where the Remembrance Service are taking place. If all goes to plan, Gridania's Grand Company, the Order of the Twin Edda, will hold the first of the three services. The Elder Seeds here, Kane Senna, will deliver her address at... Miketos Amphitheater? You should probably mention... I, I should probably mention at this point that due to the organizational chain, uh, challenges involving in assembling all of the involved parties it's impossible that the order of the service it, oh, it's possible that the order of the services might change still there's not okay that's distracting like crazy uh, jack black jet black still there's not much we can do about that. So make Redania your first port of call. Next, you'll be you'll uh, need to go to Ulda where the Flame General Roban Aldin will be addressing the message at the Royal Promenade. Oh, it is rumored there's to be a special guest. How exciting. Last but not least, you must make your way to the Maelstrom in Limsa Liminza. Where the Maelstrom Chief, the Admiral, will be giving her address. The room is, an ex is accessible via the Admiral's lift. Identify yourself to the sentry, Zantial, and he will admit you. Yeah, got that. Well, off you go then. I hope you find the Remember Services suitable, uh, su suitably educational. I suggest visiting the city-states in my prescribed order, though with your record of impeccable timing and luck, the schedule may well change in favor of your pro- Oh, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. Well, I think we'll actually... Go to Gridania first, indeed. Uh, just click there, go here, head over there. Okay, these are having a uh, dance of it seems. So what, what do you have? Broaden Horizons. 
It's level 29. What broader horizons? Passage through the white. Oh, wait a minute. I think I need to talk to this one. Une, is it not? I've been following your exploit with great interest. You have served Limsa Luminza well, and I believe your great accomplishments your greatest accomplishes accomplishments are yet to come. It is with such lofty expectations that I would grant you passage beyond Gridania's own white wolf gate. Take this pass and show it to the gatekeeper. Gri uh, gird yourself well for battles for the battles to come and I'm sure the news of your deeds will reach me again before long. Okay, that's nice. Well, it's a bit of a shortcut. Uh, carpenter, no. The house that death built? It's ominous like crazy. Alright, let's take a look what they want. I is that... Oh, there we go. Um, gossip has been dying to share with some... Oh, is that a new dungeon? If you're poking around looking for work, you must be an adventurer too. Am I right? You won't find much here, I'm afraid. Seems the only thing people talk about these days is that nasty bit of business down near... Isol Somha? Surely, you've heard the stories of a strange portal suddenly appearing in the ruins down there. That's a new dungeon. Hey, don't give me that look. I'm only telling you what I overheard from the wireless. They say on the other end of it some... of. They say on the other end of it some sort of a labyrinth. The thing is... Every, the thing is, every time they go down there to map the place out, nothing is the same. A mystery, if I've s ever seen one. Can I scale this down? I'm starting to feel like it's too large. Yeah, that's what she said. No, she didn't. There's no such thing. Frankly, I'm more than happy to let you stay, uh, stay a mystery. Strange operations, booby trap corridors... Going down there is nothing short of suicide. Still, the prospect of treasure is awful tempting. <laughs> Don't take my word for it though. Head down to this location and you can hear it straight from the chocobo's mouth. Okay, that... I didn't know there was a dungeon there. That's fine. Let's go to the other location. Hopefully the text isn't too small. Is there anything else I want to do over here? Might as well just take a quick look here at the map. Botanist, Conjurer, Lancer. Let it work. Uh, all of these things will eventually do, but not right now. I don't want to bore you guys out of the story already. Uh, there's one other thing that we need to do. We actually have to go to that gate. But first things, movie time. I lost my son to the calamity. The three seed seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. Okay. Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. Fearful of the Green Wrath, they hid themselves in the dark recesses of the Earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals. 
and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gradania was born some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hur and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization, and soon they were joined by folk of all. I kind so of want nourished to by the waters of unity and blessed by the light of the matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, hanging behind the elder seat seer. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hur and Elizan. An elegant symbol, do you not agree? In accordance with the will of the Elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Though we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. When the Garlean Empire brought its War of Conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day, for soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed, each waking hour a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease and prey upon the vulnerable. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk the high roads itself. without fear. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. 
Let them be honored, not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity. We must think of the children. Woods will be done. It's up to us to protect the forest. All the elementals. Actually quite a good speech. If you'll permit me, Alfie No. And my sister, Alize, at your service. I like the fella. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. Yeah, we, we traveled the same ship. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. Alright, that's, that's nice. Um, so the Guardians, the Gridanians are unfortunate enough to have to contend with two beast tribes. The Exile are unquestionably the more troublesome. Being of a natural warlike disposition, they end won't to summon their bloodthirsty primal Garuda. The Salves can, uh, by, uh, the Salves, by contrast, are peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather than malevolent, and have long been on friendly terms with the Gridanians, until recent, at least. Alas, they have grown a foot, alfu, aloof, aloof. Sure, why not? Um, a change observed at roughly the time they summoned the primal Ra Ramu oh Ramu okay yeah I know that guy the Gridanians have no love for war and are considered open conflict and consider open conflict a last resort though they clash with the exile are more regular you may be be assured that they do in self-defense. As for the Silps, they are as yet bound by the by a peace treaty, though one wonder how long it will be before it's broken. The Twelve's Wood was grievously wounded during the Calamity, leaving Gridania vulnerable to attack. The people are hopeful that restoring the Wood and thereby the power of the Elementals will put an end to their woes. Yet, how long will that take? Centuries, I wager. Alright. Meanwhile, the Exile will continue their incursions, spurred on by Gridania and her instashable appetite for destruction. Whether the Gridanians like it or not, sooner or later it will come to an all-out war. And when it does, the Order of the Twin Adder will need all the help it can muster. How valuable Mighty Eight of a capable adventure proved to them then. I'm not even standing on the floor. That's fine. Potatoes, potatoes, doesn't really matter, right? Interesting boots they have. Are they both scholars? I know he is a scholar. Is, is, is he a scholar as well? So, what we want to do is go here. 
I think that is where we need to go and show that uh, certificate. Certificate? Certificate? Certificate. Um, no, 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 it's the other gate. There's another gate. So I have to go down a bit further. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so currently my level is a problem. Yeah, we need level level 29. All right, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll get there sooner or later. But where actually is this? This is Talalan. Chem Tribone. And this was in... Central Shroud going down over there. Eventually we'll get here, so we don't have to do this right now. Yeah, let's go to Uldar. could happen to you might as well just go and talk with him a well-heeled youth on the emerald avenue appears to have been a benefactory of some good fortune and it may not oh is this going to like the golden saucer do be careful with those break anything and i shall be forced to deduct it from your salary oh you you are absolutely in my comfort zone here, yeah, buddy. Beg your pardon. What is my loyal men servant carrying? Why? I uh, not do small fortune in prizes by one by yours truly in the Golden Saucer. You have heard of the Golden Saucer? Hey? You gods. Woman. You might be at least try to keep up with the times. It's only the Sultanate's newest and finest place of entertainment. Trill to the side of majestic birds roaming, roaring down the strait at a chocobo race. Pit your wits against your peers at a triple triad table. At the Golden Saucer, one can do all this and more. And if you know what you're about, You'll walk out a wealthier woman than you entered. If there's a better place to shake off one's cares after a grueling day of promenading, it will never. I've never heard of it. He's also dressed for the occasion, I guess. Did I mention the prizes? <laughs> but I dare say you'd rather discover them for yourself. Yes? I wager you wonder. You're just wondering. How, in Tal's good name, you can experience the wonders of the Golden Saucer firsthand? Am I right or am I right? Ah, I thought as much. Well, since this has been my lucky day, I don't see why it shouldn't be yours too. I, it just so happens to have a spare golden airship ticket. You see, consider it a gift from me to you, my lady. Nice. Just show the tickets to the fine lady over at the landing and you'll have a seat on the next airship bound for Reveille and Riches. Be fairly warned, though you may expect no mercy from me should our paths cross at the triple tri the tri triple triad tables. Nay, not so much as one ounce. Waha! Sure. Okay, so we got ourselves a ticket. We'll worry about that later. Uh, Traumaturg, what's this? Klugelist. Yeah, okay. Um, let's move back. Wait. 
Where do we need to go again? The Royal Promenade. Um, let's make a pit stop at the exchange. So we can quickly look at the map. Weaver, Goldsmith, Gladiator. No. Holy crap, he's a bird, dude. Nice. Birds and bunnies everywhere. Chamber of Rule. Okay, when that story... Actually, before the story, I'm going to be getting something else to drink. That coffee really got to me. So that's the destination. Okay, then let's get something to drink. I'm going to look him up in the upper decks. I'm going to be waving at him. <laughs> okay, let's go. Second remembering service. Behold, tis the Sultana Nanamo herself! And Roban as well! Hark you, souls of flame, drawn to the bosom of the desert, where the fire burns brightest and shall rage forevermore! Hurrah! Brauban! Where since antiquity, under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul dynasty, we have wrought sand into gold. Really? Where by the grace and glory of Naldar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Ulda! There, at the Flame General's back, flies the Grand Company's standard. Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing fields of Cartano, None spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. So that's how it happened. How soon history forgets. 
Yet many left our gates never to return. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters, that they might know happiness in the great beyond, as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden, and enthralled. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? I ask you, is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? Whisper. You who call this living, dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its natural wealth. We stand on a precipice, yet we do not act, whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist. All must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. He is he who seek glory and wealth. Look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. Now is the time to unite. Now is the time to ride forth. In the name of the Sultana, I beseech you. Line not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames. Seek not to prosper from Uldar, but to restore her to prosperity. As the realm prospers, so shall Uldar. As Uldar prospers, so shall her people. Ya yeah, for Uldar! Together we are one. Your grace. Raubon? <laughs> People of Ulda, I, Nanimo, 17th in the line of Ul, address you. Much has been made of the wealth of Ulda. Yet those who measure that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Ulda lies in the health happiness and hopes of her people beloved subjects i bid you raise aloft the torch of Ulda, that her flames might serve as a beacon for all eorzea to see long live nanamo glory to the sultana for victory and fortune stride fearless into the inferno for we are by fire reborn Fuck that, dude. That's a motivational Absolute speech of you. I believe, I fancy believe. meeting you again. Ah, the old Dans have a long history of conflict with the, Alm uh, the Amalja, the beast tribe that worships the primal Ifrit. Judging by a look of distaste, I take it you've encountered them. The Uldans do not shy for com from confrontation. If art threatens their precious prosperity, they will seek to crush it. So they have dealt with Ifrit thus far. Smothering uh, his flames each time he is stoked to life, yet he is but one of several problems. Though they have been quiet these past five years, the Gallians have not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees come to arrive in droves. 
and Uldar has no clear policy on how to deal with them. After all, not even the Sultana's coffers are bottomless, and even, and even assuming they had the coin, resources will never be finite. Which brings me back to the subject of Ifrit. It has been observed that the Amadja are summoning him with ever increasing frequency. Every time they do so, the Uldan send their forces to smite the primal. And though they invariably succeed, each victory is bought with blood. It is a war of attrition which they cannot well sustain. Small wonder then that the immortal flames are eager to recruit more members. At such a, des a desperate hour, an adventurer of your experience would, do, would be a most welcome addition to their ranks. I love that speech. I seriously love that speech. I need to invite someone real quick. Oh, okay. Wow, he, uh... Alright. <laughs> That's so stupid. Whatever you say, dude. Uh, let us head out to... Not the Black Shroud, no. Le Nostra. Okay, so where's he? Where's he? Uh, where is he currently? Lower decks. No, oh, that's me. Oh, he's at the southern shroud right now, playing a dragoon. Okay, cool. We need to go to the admiral's lift, and that's right over there. Yeah, I'm. I'm very torn between. Limza and Uldar. I definitely think Uldar is a great story. Although it does feel like this is a more busy place. Um, it could be the ocean fishing. If you want to do ocean fishing, that's right over here. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, let's go. The Garlians are another matter altogether. So much for our alliance. It's sunk beyond the seabed. Oh, she is a badass too, though. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard, and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. I love this. Seven hundred summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. Would this be the oldest of the nations? I didn't hear them talk about how old Uldar is, but the Gridanians were talking about, I think, like 400 years or something. In that time, guided by the Mother of Oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. Ha-ha! 
Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. The Crimson Field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the Black Longship represents a pirate vessel. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. Reborn? All answered the call, from the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilfir's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. Wow, actually, you can feel like there's a lot of emotion in that voice. I, I really actually like that. Freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. Wow, really? It has been five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still, the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Fuck yeah. Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore, seeking blood for their accursed god. Those fishback the bastards. The Sahagin have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Galian Empire. Even now, the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. I need to check if my dog is actually in one of its bed. Take a look. Oh yeah, he's lying in there. For we are well nigh surrounded. Yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? There is but one course left to us. One bearing that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the Empire both and see this ship safe to port. We must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom, and stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well, a crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, Gather beneath the undying Crimson Standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. Okay. And with the guidance of the Navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Long live the Admiral! Admiral Melvin! Gather the lads! Oh, where's me cutlass? <laughs> Where is me? Well, you the seven hells, Admiral. Yeah, tough decision this is. It's either going to be the Maelstrom or Ulda. Like the, the Maelstrom or the Immortal Flame. Yeah. 
As the Admiral mentioned in her address, Limsa Liminza is played by two beast tribes. The first are the fish like Shagarin, Shagarin, worshippers of the primal Leviathan. The second are the kobolds who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal, the primal titan for their god. As if the beast tribe's presence weren't troublesome enough, the Galleons have also chosen to erect a fortress right in Lominzian's backyard. And that is to say not for internal strife. As a nation of pirates, there is no end to the blood feud between the various factions. And while they fight amongst themselves, the Galleons yet wet, wet their blades and watch. Oh, like whetstone-ish type of thing? If the Lominzians are to have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Differences must be set aside and the primal threat dealt with once and for all. So this end, uh, to this end, I expect that we will soon take decisive action against the beast tribes. Mark my words, the maelstrom standard will be drenched in a deeper shade of crimson ere long. That a capable adventurer like you would be a valuable addition to their crew is beyond question. But will you sail with the Admiral? I think we do. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll, I'm kind of curious. Uh, which, which brand company which, would you have gone with? After hearing all of the tales and why. Because every time I hear this, I still think the... The Gridanians? They, they're just the least... Um... Their speech is, 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 is definitely the lesser of the three. At least in my opinion. Una, this is Menphilia. Are you well? You are well, I hope. Yeah, I wouldn't be picking up my earpiece otherwise. Would I be correct in thinking that the final remembrance service is now concluded? A moment ago, you say? What a coincidence. Jesting aside, I trust you remember our guests from the Grand Companies. Well, delighted though we are to have them here with the Walking Sand, it would not do to keep them in suspense any longer than necessary. In short, hurry back. Eh. Eh. Is there anything I can actually do? Arcanist, Fisher. I don't think there is much over here. We could visit the aft castle real quick to see if there are any blue quests that are interesting to us. We'll see. Let's take a quick look. Uh, culinarian, no. And blacksmith, so there's nothing. Um, let's zoom out a bit. Hero in the making over there, and we can't go in here. There's a house that that built. But we'll actually... Wait, what level is that? 17. Let's get the chocobo first. So let's go back to Minfilia. Uh, where's the tickets? There we go. And I'm thinking we'll go with the Maelstrom. I'm not sure. Um, maybe you can help me with that. Uh, we're currently aligned with the immortal flames but could we raise the other standings as well 
And if that is a yes, how does one do that? You look like the grunge. The, the, uh, the horror from the, the Japanese show. Alright, let's go. We'll go with the, uh, the Maelstrom. It's actually quite a good speech. So that would be the Storm Officer. Welcome back, Une. Where the Grand Company leader's words are illuminating, as you had hoped. Aye. Each nation is, be is bested with problems. I trust you've seen how and why your services are in such demand. Would that there were more of you in her? But you must be tired uh, from your journey. Why don't you rest a while and take a moment to reflect upon your decision? Once your mind is made up, pray give the Grand Company officers your answer. Well, we're going to give them it right now. The gods only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. The wheels of change are in motion regardless. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies. They actually As were. As though the Calamity and Seventh Umbral Era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard waving rallies. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the Warriors of Light? None. None. None whatsoever. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? No, dear Alizé, they haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact, that the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the Beast Tribes and their Primals do little to alleviate the pain. So, the task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Companies. Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Our grandfather would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. Okay. There must be another way to cure what ails this world. I want to see if I can get I one without. Yeah, I think that's a nice one. Try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. In time, I dare say, we will see eye to eye. Yeah, maybe. I should hope so. M -m my lady! We are to escort you! Why? Hope does not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister. And we'll prevail together or not at all. The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds, but prevent old ones from opening anew. It actually do make sense. Okay, so I think Storm Officer then. How was the Admiral's speech? Ah, but you need not explain. That you stand before me now is answer enough. You have resolved to join the Maelstrom, have you not? Sure, let's go for it. That's the spirit, lass. With allies like you, how much, strong, uh, uh, how much stronger is our crew? Let us brave the seas to get a friend. Now, the choice is made. It is time to add your name to our roles. Make your way to the Maelstrom's command back in Limsa. 
and we get ourselves some dye. How oh, nice. No. Hey, MC. How was the event going you guys were playing? Hopefully you had a good time. It's upon the backs in the case if you have forgotten or sent word to the personal officers to expect you. The duties of the Maelstrom Soldier can be both arduous and challenging. But I promise you, you will not regret this choice. May your passage be swift and your bearings true. Oh sure, actually it doesn't say true at all. That's fine. It says true right now. So, we'll go here. We'll pick up our choke bow. And we'll first make sure we get rid of these blue quests. We'll unlock a few dungeons, which is interesting. I like that. And we'll continue with the MSQ. Lots of la go uh, tons of laughs. Okay, wh what kind of game was it? I don't, I don't know it. Okay, let's go to the Aft Castle. Here we go. Oh, I'm doing good. It's a bit late. 2 a.m. But it's the same for you. Hail, adventurer. What business have you at Maelstrom? Oh, come on. You, do you know me? I believe you're expecting... I'm here to enlist if you will have me. W um, then well met and welcome to the maelstrom. I need a name for the role. So, wait a moment. Wait, wait a moment. You're her, aren't you? Uned Ocean. Aye. You're just as our recruitment officer res uh, described. Glad to have your award, friend. Now, before I can accept your oath, you must be made aware of several. Sir. Oh my God. Here we go. First mission, what is it, private? And this better be important. Sir, we've received report from a lookout in Lower and Nostra. Sir, Imperial forces have fired upon a high wind Skyway warship. The vessel is in a bad way, sir. It appears to be banking for emergency landing in the Shadowwood. Shadowwood? Damn it. We have no troops available in that area. The bulk of our infantry is bogged down at the coast, skirmishing with the fishbacks. Doshin, this is highly irregular, but I fear your first duty in, uh, in service to the Maelstrom must be unofficial. If your man in Lower Nostra is correct, the airship will come down in territory crawling with Imperial scouts. If there is any survivor, Survivors, we must reach them before the Guardians do. Make haste to Shadowwood, locate the airship, and if and if any of its occupants are alive, make sure they come to no further harm. We'll see about swearing you in upon your return. It's good, man. Um, so it's just some activities that could Discord in inserted in voice chat that you can do with others. In one you write a random thing, and someone else has to draw it. And if there's enough people, you also get to describe a draw picture, and also then draw someone else. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that. I, I usually don't really read the things that they do. Happy Friday! So yeah, interested about that. So we are going to go... To Lower Nenosra. We could go through the mist, I think. But, or we could just, uh, just walk. Because this is... We need to go all the way over there. If we go to the mist, it's this area. Oh, we actually have to do the materia extraction. I've completely neglected that.
Amend request. Disciple of the hand. Request mend. I've never done that. I don't know what it does. Okay, right, never mind. Um, we'll just walk, I guess. No, we'll go to the mist. Let's go to the mist. Oh, Gowron told you how to... Oh, yeah, Gowron is actually very active in those things. Yeah. He's actually doing a great job as a... Um, as a moderator. I actually like what he's doing so far. Uh, we should go up here. Let's not peek under that. Keep things PG. And we'll head out over here. And this should actually be a bit of a shortcut. Uh, leave residential area. And there we have to go. The company you keep, the Maelstrom. Do I actually have the new hunt? Yes, we do. Okay, nice. We'll actually get a free company or a grand company thing with that as well. And I kind of want to make sure we do that as fast as possible. Become a lieutenant. So we unlock the... Um, how is those, the squadron called again? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm off to bed. Too many late nights in a row. Big side and stream. Catch you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate that. Hope you had a great night and have a great sleep. Okay, let's go. Let's fight. Poor Dodo, he's scared of his life over there. An adventurer? What are you doing here? No, wait. Let's find some cover first. Shouldn't we just assault him? Everyone had their backs turned. How amazing. Wait, and this is the first time I'm actually out of breath. Maelstrom Command sent you. How do you know? How do I know you're not an Imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. I, I, they didn't swear at me and dude. Relax. Oh, we are actually... Be, okay, nice. This is a lieutenant. Be at ease, sir. We are of the Maelstrom. You are a Gorland... Uh, you are a Gorland Ironworks engineer, yes? One of our lookouts reported an attack of your on your craft. We're here to rescue you. Well, consider me rescued. You must be Doshin. Good work on reaching our friends here before... Yeah, I, I took shortcut between the mist. Should do the same, you know, to your residential area. Aye, it's an airship, all right. It's still weird how that floats. Like, it's tilted, but oh well. I've never seen a craft of this design. It must be Garland's work. Is there no end to the man's treachery? Ooh. Treachery. The secrets of Magitek belong, to in, belong in Imperial hands. They are not to be squatted on by Eorzean savages. Look at that. We are taking this craft back to the fortress. Dismantle it if we, if you must, and bring the engineer. Someone must pay for guardian craft. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Do we now attack? Scouting port party from Castrum 
o si o Occidents? Occidents? I'd say. Seems they want our ship engineer. Come on, can we just attack? Wedge, we have to help him. That fool of a Lalafell was hiding inside the tiny Bronco. Yeah, he's a fool, right? The tiny Bronco? Isn't that the new design people have been whispering about? This is the first airship we've built since the Calamity. The first since Master Garland, well, since he went missing. After years of work, she was finally ready for her first test flight. And she was soaring. She really was. Till those bastards blasted her out of the sky. Alright, pay attention. We're going to hit those Imperials hard and fast. If they want a souvenir from Eorzea, they can have a knife in their cup. But they're not getting their ship. Oh, and don't forget to save the Lullafell. Even he's like, ah, it's a Lullafell. It's fine. What say you, Dosin? Ready to give those curs a hiding? Yeah, I'll give them a knife or two. Got two of them. All right, like a tidal wave, let's charge. Oh, yeah, he's, he's just hiding. I uh, think we'll take care of the mage, then the archers, and they'll work our way down. And ambush to arms. Not shouting, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. My, my wife is actually sleeping. Uh, where is he? You. on me. Oh, who's healing him? Wait. How did he get healed? We, we, we killed the healer. Who healed him? Oh, he's actually doing that. Let's do him first. Uh, any reinforcements? Oh, there's something else over, over there. Oh, you're not going to... Oh, they're just like, F it. Let's go. Need this attack in. What the? Where are you going? Oh, that's annoying. Why is he running like on the towards the other side of the field? Uh, that should be there we go. That should be end of it. Pigs. Wedge, you shouldn't have stayed in with this ship. He shouldn't actually, that's stupid. That was a close one. 
So damn close. So, how's she look anyway? The auxiliary propeller is dead loss, but I think we can bring enough thrust from the main propeller to get us airborne. Okay, let's go let's do it. A few minor modifications, and we should be able to fly the tiny Bronco home. We'll stand watch until the ship is ready to take off. The Imperials will come looking for their scouts eventually, but I doubt they'll get here before... Uh, be I doubt they get here for a good while. Those in your free to return to Mills of Command and complete your introduction. Ordinarily, I'd ask you to stay, but I think we'll, uh, we, we'd all feel better knowing an adventure of your ability was safely sworn in and ready for the next mission. Rest assured, I'll inform command of your part, of the part you played today. Um. Just want to say sorry, you know, for calling an Imperial spy and all. Got that one wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Seriously, though. If I hadn't been, if it hadn't been for you and the Maelstrom lads there, we'd be chained up in a dungeon by now. I mean, you're that friend. We both are. Which? Thank you. We're very grateful. Okay, that means we can just return. Let's go to the F castle. Alright, let's get to going. Welcome back, Dosin. I've heard your report. You needn't be concerned about the engineers. They completed and their return trip without further imperial interference. I must admit, I had my doubts at first, but it seems the story about you is... If you hadn't your doubts, then why bloody send me? I'll look forward in seeing what else you're capable of, after you're probably introduced into the Maelstrom, of course. Now, speaking of your introduction... Uh, do I fixing stuff for the kid, and then gone again. Sounds like a solid plan. Uh, we'll actually be getting 300 storm seal. I think that's enough to get the ticket. <coughs> Let us start afresh, shall we? You are welcome here, Unedosin, that such a well-respected adventurer, adventurer should choose to join our ranks is most heartening. Before you swear your allegiance to us, however, it is only right that I tell you exactly what it is that you will be joining. A grand company is more than a sim uh, than than simply a collection of soldiers. It is an all-encompassing organization which draws upon the, a, the resources of an entire city-state to form a unit, a united, a military force capable of standing against a nation's deadliest enemies. We of the Maelstrom are charged with meeting the threats posed by the primals and the guardian empire and solving the many problems caused by the calamity every man and woman here serves on the rock colors has a role to play in keeping a great warship in keeping the great warship that is limbs elements as afloat and on whatever and on whatever heading 
the Chief Admiral seems fit to set. As part of the Grand Vessel's crew, you will be expecting to take your turn at the oars. For the winds do not look favorable, lass. The strength of arm may be all that the sea that all wow. The strength of arm may be all that seas are safe to port. If I have lost you with talk of ship and oar, let me put it in another way. A maelstrom soldier labors till his last breath, fights till his last drop of blood. We give our all in service to this nation, and no less is expected of you. Dosin, it is customary for new recruits to swear an oath of their own choosing upon entering the maelstrom ranks. It is odd you'd like to say um if my sword until sea, uh, sea swallows all what skill I have is yours till sea swallows all I will follow the admiral to the very bottom of the abyss yeah that's a good one I like it look at me as would we all a capable crew is one thing but unswearing loyalty is a trait that cannot be trained or bought. Well said, lass. Una, I hereby assign you the rank of, of Storm Private First Class. You are now officially a soldier of the Maelstrom. Welcome aboard, Private. May you serve Limsela Minza well till sea swallows all. Great. Drive it again. I think Mephilia. Yeah. Can you hear me, Una? It's Mephilia. An office of the Maelstrom contacted me with the news of your enlistment. Your enlistment. My congratulations, Private. I have no doubt that you are eager to make your acquaintance with your new comrades, but I would ask that you pay a visit to the old ones first. Remember though, remember, though you are now a woman of the storm, you are no less a scion. Pray return to the walking sand at all earnest convenience. There are some friends here who I would very much like you to meet. We shall be waiting. No rest for the wicked, eh? Before you make yourself scare, I recommend having a word with Commander Ricky. Might be worth your while. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely do that. Yeah, the Chocobo one. They are awesome. Alright, Grand Companies. Alright, well this is just basic stuff. Let us make sure that we do this one first. Yeah, my little chocobo and a pop no longer. Both of these I want to take. The chocobo whistle is to summon your chocobo. Well, if it isn't private dosing, I must say. The tales of your deeds have been an inspiration to the troops. Your duties take us far and wide. Our duties. And I wager you're, you're slogged across quite a few mounds of countryside on not but your own two feet. Such a sterling soldier of the Millstrom deserves her own steed. Let us see about having one issued for you. All you need to do is obtain a Storm Chocobo insurance by exchanging company seals with the Quartermaster. Once you have this uh, deed presented to Fragheim 
and she will be and she will see you settle up on one of our trusty birds sounds good and we'll take the next one which gives us 1500 damn training in all earnest ah private ocean just the woman i was hoping to see your exploits of late have been the talk of limsa don't let this don't let this puff your sails too much but I've heard some of the higher-ups saying that the Maelstrom would be lost at sea without that bullshit. But I suspect you're not the type to rest on your laurels. Nay, the tempest rages in your eyes tell me that you're looking for a new order to navigate. Fortunately, we just have the place for people like you. Have your merchants heard of the wolves then? Oh, this is the PvP area. It's proving grounds of sorts established by Aeorgian Alliance, a place where the most promising of the Grand Company recruits are sent to hone their skill. The Wolf's Dance is to be found off shores of the Lear of Lenostra. A ferry at the Morbay Docks in Lower Lenostra will grant you passage there. Upon your arrival, seek out Storm Captain. Let him know that you'll be coming. I've let him know that you'll be coming, so you can count on a warm welcome. Now I just joined a friend company. Alright, um, where do we need to go again? My little chocobo is apparently level... Oh, we need a chocobo insurance. Yeah, stupid. Can I actually buy that already? No, because we do not have seals. Let us go. We can go to Minfilia. Or we'll do. I think we want to do the wolves then. Because that's the most point, and it doesn't really matter. So let us go to Morbay at Rhydox. We'll take the ferry, get those tokens, go to Menphilia, then come back. Um, oh, I need to be level 30? Oh, never mind, I can't do that. Okay, it, it's it's simple then. We'll go to Minfilia. Till sea swallows all. There is no other way. Just wasted. I also could have turned these in. Let's quickly do that because this doesn't cost me anything. If I can do it. And if not, then we can actually just sell it. And if we could actually turn it in. Uh, let's use that. Oh, nice. Should have done that a while ago. Oh, I can't do that yet. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, okay, we'll sell it. Never mind. Yeah, you need to be... I think a sergeant before you could. Yeah, we'll, we'll go sell it. I don't want to keep that in my inventory. Especially when we start doing dungeons. 
quite often. Don't want it. Yep. Go oh, away. I don't care. Seriously, doesn't matter at all. We got ourselves some, I think, level... What gear did we got last time? Yeah, I don't want to... Uh, I'll keep this in the armory. This is junk. And we'll probably eventually sell the material. That's better. Actually. There we go. Let us... Oh man, did I... Oh no, I, I didn't use the Vesper Bay ticket. Happy about that. Man, we're almost level 30 again. Like, all that did does... I've started a new class. And it didn't do me anything. go talk um i'll be in uh video so welcome back on air Lady Manfilia awaits you within, and we'll get 300. What you see? Here we go. It's not voiced. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. Now, of how do I know why the recruitment office called to... regal me with the tales of your heroics. The pride in his voice was... Paul Pebble? We science are truly fortunate to have you with us, Une. Now, when we last spoke, I said I wanted to meet you some. Uh, I want you to meet some friends. Did I not? Well, I le neglected to mention that you've already met them. That re, re showed me. Oh wait, what? I thought it was the science. This way, sirs. Oh. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I... I'm... Godman, spit it out, will you? <laughs> I'm Wedge at your service. I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven contraptions such as the airships grow even more vital to the city-state of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we science should serve 
as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we need the knowledge of experts and so we request, uh, requested the assistance of the Garland Iron Works. How very kindly, um, who, ver uh, who very kindly send us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Skyans, I bid you welcome to the Walking Sands. Like every soul here, I love Eosia, and I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you, and all, and uh, with you all, and to fight for a future for the future of our realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. I didn't do Jack yet. What are you talking about? I think now, we should having set aside the formality yeah, voiced we have a favor to ask of you Urianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady they arrived but recently we have conducted a study at the behest of the order of the twin adder Popolimo, Ida a synopsis if you would Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones, that worship the primal Ramu. Ahem. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, Sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. Oh, that's nice. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. Really? In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the primal. We need to turn this thing off. Will you help us? I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida! Us! Okay, let's take a quick look. What can we do? Did we get any of those? Yeah, we have a 300 now. Um, there's a few things I want to do. I thought the insurance is a thousand. And we now have these. Which will actually be... Look at this dragon hat. That's like level 40. Ill spring, broken water. We'll definitely see a few of these. And when we do, 
will take care of him. Eastern Talalan, Eastern Talalan. Not right now. It could happen to you is the airship. For the fun of it, let us just go back to Limsa. See if 300 is enough. Because I kind of want to get that chocobo, but I'm kind of worried 300 is not going to do it. Now, if we start doing faiths, we actually will get uh, more points. But let's take a look. Chocobo insurance. 200. Hell, yes. Okay, where do you want me to go? Um, this is... With the crystal. Let's go. Oh man, this is perfect. I love that. Finally, movement speed. Um, and then we'll actually go and visit those two dungeons. We still have to do uh, our job quest level 20 and 25. Oh, we're going to be so over level again. Uh, a bear, oh, want a bird issued, you say? You need to uh, see your storm chocobo insurance. Yeah, okay, we have that now. Oh, give me, give me my bird. Give me my bird. Give me my proud chocobo. Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll bring back... I'll be back with your chocobo. You should st stop hanging on my head. And here he is. The fellow has been in high spirits for the past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, well, you want to give the noble steed a name. What do we name a joke upon? Mm. Oh, what do we name this one? All daily. Yep, daily it is. Now let us go into. Oh wait, it's not there yet. Wait, oh we have to use the whistle, I think, right? Oh, never mind. Ah, I dare say he likes his name. Here is your very own chocobo whistle. Simply bow onto it, and your feathered friend will come. Bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when summoning in crowded city areas or monster infested lairs. Chocobos are stout hearted creatures. But they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with a Chocobo Rider's license as it requires by law. And that concludes all the formalities. I wish you and your Chocobo a long, long years of full filling companionship personal chocobo my little chocobo companion mm, really don't have mount guide yet do we have the whistle now then yeah okay we do let's use it that now brings us the mount guide. It's weird that these are actually there. Let's put this one over there.
now we can move. Uh, let's head over to a class master. Any better gear, by the way. Equip those. Upgrade. Okay. Fisherman's Guild. And let's take a look how bad I'm going to be butchering this. Now, at level 30, it means that we have three more missions from the Rogue's Guild. He is still throwing daggers, huh? So these are actually the same ones. We have this eye patch. We'll most likely go with the goat skin jacket. Been practicing your dance steps, Une. Cause we're about ready to run rings around Captain, around the Captain Me Lala, and her SWAT. The yellow jackets have been. Pressing their investigation into the treasures. What was cloided from the Maelstrom top? But as you know, we have got our own network of, of coves. What, what don't miss not all oh, the coins on about town. Going on about town. As for the sharp eye on the job, it will be you, me, underfoot and the stray. Let's get down to business, eh? I agree. Let's get down to business. Get us late to the feast. So I'll just make sure we're all on the same page for now. When you get down to it, we have two goals from the job. Buy back at the tree. Bite back them tree the treasures and mill the coves that cloided them in the first place. You can be sure that Yellow Jacket Screw will be doing their damn damage to beat us to the mark and seeing as the fate of the guild is at stake we'd best not drag our do uh, beat us on this one i'd say we gravel and bubble a fort she's even lifted anchor and give her a proper reason to rage against us rogues man this is really tough i've seen awful keen on this contest all of a sudden jack yeah he, he actually does. Well, there is a thing. Um, I send, I send me a grievance to the Telostracy regarding the Screws challenge, but them paper stuffers don't care a whit as long as one of us gets the job done. So I figured I'd sail with the wind rather than against it. Besides, we wouldn't want the, uh, we wanted want the. Shrike our duties and force poor captain to blunder about in the dark in the dark in the scary darkness now shall we how oh, very gentlemanly of you well them cards what we have deb well them's the cards what we've been dealt aren't they now stow your cups and hear and let's hear what you've learned about the bloody treasures already. Hi, the treasures. According to the manifest of the Maelstrom's vessel, we're looking to buy back the Serral Star, the Silver Sorrow, and something called the Black Sacrofag. Fine. Um, aside from the fancy names, I was able to whittle a few more details. The Cerul Cerulean Star, for starters, is a big old blue diamond that shines like, well, like a star, I suppose. Then we've got the Silver Sorrows, a pair of earrings that once graced the wattles of the Sultan of Uldah. There's a tale of there is a tale there. But one that doesn't concern us at present. Last is the 
black sacrifice thing, I'm afraid that one remains a mystery, no matter how much I poked and prodded. In any case, all three of these trinkets was recorded as spoils from official privateering raid. Now, as you know, a pirate will usually sell his plunder through a reliable fence. Sometimes though, holding an auction is the only way to offload goods that is too extravagant or just too bleeding rare for the average call to deal in. Our three wondrous treasures fell into the auction only category. When the bidding began in airport, the Telostracy weighed in with its ample purse, made some unmatchable offers, then organized a top of the merchandise to be shipped back to Limsa. And that's when our mark swooped in and picked the transport clean. Precisely, that's how it goes. I had a few wits with the Milstrom sailors uh, as survived an attack, and they pointed the finger to uh, and they pointed the finger at the Grin Curse. Problem is, not one curl curls seen hide or hair or the curse. Not to mention that bloody ship since the raid. Okay, I think the stray is there and see what's running. Sorry I'm late. But you wanna hear this. Some of the cargo that was cloyed from the transport was just found during a routine inspection at the Latagan checkpoint. The Latagan? Have the curse made landfall then? Oh, what out oh, oh and what of the treasures you mentioned of them? Not that I've heard, but the jackets aren't done shaking out all the boxes yet. Okay. I can stress this enough that I'm butchering every sentence of this. Then we better get our eyes out quickly. Okay, so let's go. If he trips over, he will lose all of his teeth. Okay, let's go to the checkpoint. Seriously, all the way over there. Um, we will take the teleport. Not the teleporter, but the, the door out. Where's the door? I'm always losing the door here. Adorable. Uh, middle. Yeah, middle. Oh. Chocobo. We don't walk no more. Now, this one can't fly yet. But he will be. And when he does... Ooh, that's going to be good. Right, here we go. Uh, I want a race. You owe me a pint, do you know? Uh, Jeb's aside, though, it looks like Kebba was right about the cargo. From what I've been able to catch from them swats at the gate, it seems a paddle was boned. Was boned? For carrying goods, what was known to be aboard that transport. They created or saw the way in change, but the cargo itself is still here. I saw a pair of jack jacklets carrying boxes up that wooden ramp. We need to know what's in the crates. I get the feeling they won't open theirs. Gang for asking, though. Not while this fool challenge is going on do you think you could skulk 
over there and see if they found them treasures yet. Okay, we need to go in hiding then. Yeah, use hide to gather information. Oh, yeah, of course, we need to be up there. I think it's a trap. Uh, they're inspecting the cargo, approaching them cloaked when hiding a building, and attempt to listen into their progress. This is all junk. No diamonds, no earrings, and no bloody black sarcophagus. Looks like we'll have to lean hard on the skiddy pedal if we want to find the treasures. The sighting says the merchant still pleading ig um, ignorance. Claims he was hired to carry some goods through the checkpoints and north else. What a pile of pugil shite. I'm guessing the pirates have split the cargo and are trying their luck at every checkpoint. The captain already gave orders to double the guards and expect every crate and wagon that comes through. Hmm. So they have not. So they found not of value. Banner. Thought we lost the contest of four that we probably started. But be as that may, something doesn't add up here. Why would you order a call to carry the goods through a checkpoint? No smuggler is that daft, surely. And even if by some miracle uh, of the goods uh, you're squirming to. You screamed through La Garran without raising a fuss. Why would you risk merchandise back to the city that you're cloided from? No, there's a bigger picture here. And we need to take a step back to see it. Assuming the curse hired the peddler to do their dirty work. They'll, there will be someone in the shadows as broker the deal. And I'm, it must happen to know a cove that makes it a business to oversee these kind of shady arrangements. The thing is, this black marketeer bloke changes his heart depending on how the breeze blows. Quite literally in fact, it seems to recall the navigator's veil been shifted by the, by a westerly this morning. So that puts him... At the teller's rest, nice and close. Why don't you go ask him a few questions before we head back to the guild? That is extremely close, yeah. Well, let's go. I kind of want to get to level 30 with the rogue just to get rid of that very annoying dialogue yeah we'll hold off on slim self management which is still level Oh man, yeah, we're going to be definitely over leveled. It's fine. No harm is done, but still. All that work might have been for nothing. We're just getting too much XP. Here's the black market here. I pride myself on the memory of faces, but yours is unknown to me. Um, are you an earnest customer or a inquisitive annoyance? I must be sure of your intentions.
Okay, why do they attack? Okay, here we go. Uh, the dance is old, but the name is new. Put away your daggers, rogue. I have peddled my wares to your kind since the upright thief stalked the night. Speak. What would you have from this humble merchant? Still tormenting the coils, eh, granddad? We have come for information on a smuggler's job. There was a peddler that was caught in the checkpoint moving merchandise from the Grin Curse. Pleaded ignor uh, ig innocence even when he had the screw uh, screws put on him. Screws put on him. You wouldn't know all about the deal, would you? Every last sordid detail. Not a single grain of stolen sand passes through the shadows without my knowledge. But such prickly wisdom lodges tides in one's throat. What have you brought to ease the pain of its passage? Spare me the theatrals, Gam uh, Grandad. Here's your usual purse. The sum is paid, uh, the deal is made. May my answer say, say your frickle hunger. Your mayhap peddler was indeed innocent, but he was but a beast of burden employed by associates of the Grin Curse, and likely knew not of his frayed stained nature. A pawn, if you will, inconvenient decoy, there are those amongst my acquaintances who specialize in providing such services. Aye. That's what I thought. The curse wanted to call, want call to get caught, and now the jackets have had a taste. They'll waste that time yaffling every shite pie that comes through that checkpoint. Okay, so they're not going through the checkpoint. Meanwhile, the real treasure is hidden away in the darkmans, along with the grin and curse. Not the darkmans, Master Oak. The mist. I said, let's see. I think so. Aside from traveling merchants, the curse associates have spent coin on another piece of this little game. Oh, navigator. One who is practiced in, in piloting a vessel through the Doxies pool. The Doxies. The gods only know how many ships sail through the fog. Uh, sup and never come out again. And that's where you say the curse have gone go ground. Now there's a, fr a, a trick that no, there's a trick that took some bollocks. Once they hunted top was sitting dimmer in the mist, though it would have been easier to have these associates of theirs ferry the junk goods to Le Nostra. Then the carry coves just needed to wait for the peddler to get boned and draw the glazes of the yellow jackets inland. We need to strike now. As soon as they learn the coast is clear, they will flee for open waters. A fair appraisal of events. Now that you know the location of your mark, however, it will not be so difficult to track them down. It's going to cost us. Doxy's pool was once an impenetrable shroud but ever since the calamity the mists are far less constant narrow your search to the heaviest bank and you'll soon uncover these who wish to remain unseen but now a warning the mist conceals other daggers besides the dogs you seek a careless step may land you upon the chopping block the chopping block it can't mean I think the yellow jackets
Seems I find myself another lead to look into. You hurry back home, Jack. Tell him what you've learned so far. Do I really have to go to Jack? He's even more annoying than him. Well, I guess we have to. I'm kind of hoping this is a very short mission. Probably not. Probably going to be like me butchering another 10 minutes of your time. Okay, we're still there. About timeless. We almost gone so long I almost sent Stray after you. What happened to Underfoot? So our marks have um our marks and their bitten ball bubbles are snuck inside the Doxy's pool there. Eh? I'll not discount the old man's warning. But we may not have a better chance to crash the gulls and grab them treasures. We bought our ships right now. You, me, and Kevin. I suppose we'll be needing yourself a top for the voyage. I'll have wits with Swaywind and see what the Drydex can spare us by a way of ship and reliable crew. Get your kit together and meet us there. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is... Yeah, there's one more to go, right? It's the... Um, I think it's the white mage in this town. But I honestly... I can't wait until that's done. A lot of people here. My god. What the hell's going on here? Actually, no. There's, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Alright Una, I've pulled some favors and there is a crew that will get us close enough to scramper around with the girl's vessel. It will be crammed up on the deck, so we'll try to mill the whole lot at once. We'll soon find ourselves up against the rail, so we go in quick and quiet and try to knock them off few at a time. Okay, okay, yes, we, we can go, go. Please go. Cool looking ship though. I think I need to start moving. Oh, we're actually in height. Wow, they just immediately go all in. There's you. Oh, there will definitely be reinforcements. Yeah. 
and a beast. Okay. Not the safest place to keep one of those. The next one will actually have to get out of it because the stun will uh, not recharge for it. She's just staying over there because he's badass. Hi, precious. I'm I'm going to say the. Um, the yellow jacket captain is a pirate. Jack, I found one of them treasures. Unless there's another first size blue diamond aboard, it's got to be the star. As for them other two bowels, I've tossed the cabins and been through the hold, ilm by ilm, but there's not else there. Well, We'll just have to ask all sweet like, won't we? Spit it out, Ka. Where are you keeping the rest of your treasures? You think I spit me guts for the likes of you, rogue? Maybe you won't at that, but what about this partner you're working with? Oh yeah, we don't need a partner. We don't need no partner. Yes, you do. So you're telling me this was all your own idea? You woke up one day and decided you would take a Maelstrom transport right off the coast of Illport, then disappear into the love and embrace of the Doxy's pool. Not exactly a style, is it? The Grimm's curse are too bleeding famous for being crews that turn their snouts up in privateering in favor of keeping to the old ways. You've only escaped the Yellow Jacket's grip this long by crawling on your bellies and s yeah see s I'm, I'm this captain is going to be such a and snatching scraps what fell from the table you ain't the type to sink your teeth into the navy owned vessel no matter the price I well maybe there ain't no profit in being cautious anymore come on man look at the ship the age of pirates is swiftly swiftly coming to an end may we won't stop Though, not by a pedal little crew like mine. That's why we've thrown a lot in with the executioners. That blue rock was just our share of the loot. The scrapes on the table, like you said. If you want them, if you want them other trinkets, then you'll have to take it up with our new mates. So they're, they're starting to group up then. One job at a time. Last first you need to, uh, we need to get these stinking coves to their tops back to the dock. I think that's the duty's end. I hope that's the duty's end. Putting aside the issue, who gave the orders? There's no doubt that these was the coves by raiding the mills from ship. Now, for a punishment that fits the crime, there she is. I was informed a certain well-known pirate ship was spotted way to anchor at more way dry docks. I assume this was your work. Aye, you missed all the excitement, Captain. But never, but never you mind. The star is back and Bob in and Bob in our sneaky little fembless. Hmm. And these must be the green cut. Yes, he is such a pirate. Come on, even the pistol. Degenerate fiends, how dare you ply your filthy trade in Lemurian waters? How many innocent sailors were massacred? That you might 
update your vile Everest. Every one of your kind ought to be lined up and sh wow and shot. A musket ball is the only answer for this rampant display of lawlessness. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Just execute them with the bloody at the bloody box here on the bloody dogs. Let's um, let's at least take these buggers into custody first. Hand them over to. Hand them over for lawful punishment. Satisfy the demands of the code just as well. We've already got the answer to our questions. So feel free to take them away. Do not presume to give me orders, rogue. You only managed to capture these villains and their ill-gotten treasure by employing unsavory and un... Consequential be... Bio, bio, and on... Consequential means <laughs> whatever whatever why you're n not more than pirate yourself oh she's getting really I'm getting really tired of her the bosses ain't worth a true pirate sprit the upright thieves were formed to protect us from ourselves now they're just hunting dogs for the captain hunting dogs for the captain they have it Baby yanks the leash and another buccaneer disappears. You rogues are traitors to your own kind. If it hadn't been for you... Alright, go on then. Blame me and me go for your own failures. You knew what was about... You knew what you was about when you defied the code. You knew we'd be after you. We're done here. There's still too much there's still two more treasures left, Rogue, and I mean to claim them both. I'd reconsider this context of a uh, contest of yours, Captain. Turns out this fish we're trying to hook is a shark. And it must and it might just swallow your whole. Okay, wow. That is extremely annoying. I thought for a second something flew over. Luckily. We probably will get like level 25 and I will have to butcher another few hundred sentences. And by the time we get done, this was all for nothing. Which is actually very annoying. Better work on the ship, Une. First blood of ours. How do you take fighting at sea? There's a few, there are few as can drop an opponent as quick as a rogue. But mind, you don't exhaust yourself just flailing your blades at those, at the rougher rope. Could you stop fucking talking like this, you absolute jackass? Seriously, he's so annoying. I can't. I can't fucking read this. And that goes double for when you may when you have mates on your flank. If you notice yourself starting to flag, there's not wrong with pulling back from time to time and staggering your attack with each other to keep the pressure on. I've said it before. I've said it before, lads, but you need a sharp enough calf steel for what's to come i'm afraid this will be more of a challenge than ever what a little screw 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 was bargaining for oh. that assuming the curse were lying about the executioners and the executioners are 
who I bloody think they are. Twix you and me though, I'm hoping the name's just a laughable coincidence. Let's, let's get let's, let's get the top. Let's just get that. Equip that, equip that, that looks way better. And let me turn off these damn goggles. You know, it is annoying, you know, I can't read so many commas in one sentence. It is seriously breaking my brain. I'm dyslectic as crazy, I can't read that. I love the class, I, I just don't like this entire piratey thing, but oh well. Uh, wolves then we cannot do, let's take a look at what we can. Um, the house that Dev built. Not Mordona. Let us head over to this area. Okay, we might actually have to go to the Lavender Beds as well. Or did we? No, I think we already did that. My first little chocobo. Fuck yeah. Oh, we're actually heading over there. Right? No, wrong. Actually, no, right. Cool. Fizzy Chocobo is the quest you need to do to get a Chocobo that will fight with you. Which is amazing. You can either let it tank, let it heal, let it do DPS. And you can actually let it do two of three things. If you have the carrots to level it up and the onions to deal with that as well. Speaking of onions, we actually have to go to the um, to the FC house to make sure our harvest doesn't go to waste. That would be a major problem. Let's go over there. And it's actually just nice not reading through rogue dialogue options at the moment. But I kind of also want to get it over with. Yeah, first look at Chocobos over there. Leaves. But it's level 30. We might just want to go over here to the quarry mill. The house dead built? Wait, is that... Is that that palace kind of thing? No. It should... Is it? Or is this a dungeon? No way. Okay, what do you want? I'm sorry, but I must insist that you... Oh, an adventurer and a rather seasoned looking one besides. On the off chance, you're... Not simply here to grump. Perhaps you can lend us a hand. You see, despite the uh, fervid protestations of those dust grinds over there, we cannot permit civilians within the ruins at this time. Capable men and women like you, on the other hand, are more than welcome. That is, if you are got the stones for it. I have stones. Lots of stones. Brace seek out the other stations at the quarry mill. They can apprise you of the details. Yeah, quarry mill. I knew it. It is the palace of the dead. But at least we'll get this done. The palace of the dead is actually quite interesting. You can solo it. You can do it to the party. And you can definitely level classes in there. And it actually... It can teach you a lot about your rotation, which is very useful to basically everyone. So, first things first, E for right. Yeah, this is definitely Palace of the Death.
Well met adventurer. I take it you've come to learn more of recent happenings here at the Isom Ha. The site is of interest owing to the uh, Galmorian ruins. The Galmorian ruins. The Galmorian ruins being an underground city which predates Gridania. Oh, that's just older than 400 years then. In case you are unaware, any road. A few days past, we received we received reports of several anthropographies, geographies, that a magical gateway of some sort had appeared in the ruins, and that all manners all manner of creatures were coming and going through it. My men and I were among the first to examine it, and well, it's hard to explain. We crossed the threshold into a set of corridors we'd never seen before, and then suddenly, each and every one of us was filled with an inacceptable sense of dread. It was all I could do to take... It was all to take a single step. According to Ianu Koro, who accompanied, accompanied us, the runes were warranted by a powerful magic attack that saps the spirit and ether of all who enter render them easy prey for creatures within. Thankfully we managed to devise a solution, either pull arms and armor which safeguards and channels the wielder's energies that might withstand the rune's magic attack. Unfortunately, it does little to prevent us from losing our way, though it beggars belief every time we have dared to venture into the rooms, we have found the path to be changed. We suspect this too may be the work of an unfamilable powerful mage. Needless to say, something strange is afoot. A traditional tactics are not likely to suffice. Even experienced adventurers will need to protect with uh, will need to proceed with caution. In any event, if you believe you have what it takes to brave the ruins and discover what secrets lie in the depths, deepest depths, you need say the word. Uh, what do we want? Yeah, none of this really interests me, so we'll take the money. Okay, Pals of Death is now accessible. And this is just saying that you can go in uh, alone or in party, there's traps, treasures, etc, etc. At some point we'll do it, because I think you can actually get an achievement. And to enter it... Is it him? Yeah, okay, yeah, enter the Pals of the Dead. We're not going to right now. That was very cool. Uh, do we want to do the gold saucer? What is broaden your horizons? Oh yeah, we cannot do that because we're too high level or too low level. So we'll go over to Alatili. Which is over there, Cat Brian It's another dungeon. Now, Palace of the Dead you cannot access through your duty finder. You will always have to come to this particular area if you want to access it. Oh, finally we're on the road again. Oh, there is a lot of reading. Now, for those of you who have suffered through with me, I applaud you. I really, really applaud you. But, the story will actually improve and there's a lot more um, dialogue that will be voiced in the future. So, uh, suffer through. You'll get there. Just make sure you don't pick the Lemonian factions if you can't read proper English like me. If it's the halls of Halati you seek, 
you need seek no further. Permit me to tell you something about this place. The name comes from an ancient tongue. Alatili means land of many shadows. It was, it was here that our distant ancestors first settled and uh, You have not come all this way for a lesson in history. S listen, do you not hear the howls and growls? Do you not feel how they shake the very earth beneath you? Those sounds are the work of no wind, my friend, nor the rumblings of nor the rumblings, the, the doings of any shadows. Those are the calls of Halatili. For now, the beast once kept for the Colosseum lurks here. And these are no gentle beasts broken by the hand of men. No, there are those within that even the mightiest. No, there are those within that even the mightiest of the immortal flames cannot tame. From the look of you, you must be Une. I, I received a word from Ned that you might be alone. By his recommendation, I'll grant you leave to enter freely. I only pray that you will be able to find a way out. Oh, come on. Well, I can't use this. That's nice. But there is this option. So is it going to be like your metal letter cloth? I think it is, and I will take it. Definitely take it. Let's equip that. Let's go change that up. Okay, that's out of the way as well. So that will actually add to the duty roulette. Could happen to you is the golden saucer. Let's go to Ulda and we'll go to the landing. We'll fly there. We'll queue. We'll actually go to the Ifrit. I've, I've never paid much attention to it. But apparently that's cool games. Ah, uh, landing. Uh, this is a reception desk for flights bounding to the Mendeville. Mendeville? Oh, Golden Source, before proceed, I must ask you that you submit your ticket for for inspection. Do you have an, a ticket? Do you have a ticket? Yes, I have a ticket. What's this? Oh, this is the gate pass. Okay. It appears that everything is in order. An airship will be departing shortly. Before the next bell, shall I reserve a seat for you? Yeah, do that. Reserve me a seat. Let's get in uh, some water. It does look like fun. I just don't have any clue on what is going on with this. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll eventually do like an event. Just try out all of the games, I don't know. Okay, this doesn't seem too difficult. Oh, nice. Was that the Mandeville post done by a cactus? I think it was. Oh my. my monitor is like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be turning off. No, you're not. Do not turn off monitor. I know you've been awake for a long time. Okay, let's get towards the crystal. Okay, so a bunch of points. And... Do I want to talk to this fellow? Like, what was the name? Yeah, no, I'll decline for now. We'll do that later. Okay. 
it does look quite nice. I can see there's if uh, we can attune to. Do we want to do that? Not too many of them. Might as well just do it right now. Triple Triad. The World of Wonders. Hitting the Cacked Pot. I think that's not too difficult. Scratch It Rich. So that's just Passion for Fashion. Which is the coolest one? Yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll do this another time. I need to make some progress. So we'll attune over here and get the heck out of here. Okay. All that remains now is just continuation. Let's go to New Gridania. And let's go to the Slims. Slips, Slips, whatever. Bunch of flying fairies. But Rolling Horizons is over here. Not you. I is is it? No. Go away. Where's the one doing that quest? Never mind, I see what, what the problem is. Oh, they're in Copper Bell Mines. Alright, cool. Uh, we know far too little of the Sims to lay any word to our plans. We must call upon the Sans once more. If we are to... Ah, beg your pardon. It's a terrible habit of mine to think out loud. But tell me, what brings you to the Atlas Nest? Well, I'm your sign. I'm here to actually assist you. Hail, adventurer. I bet you welcome to the Atlas Nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with the twin Adler? No, I'm already occupied, mate. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with the Millstrom. Good day, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you. But other business brought us here today. Ida and Papalimo. Always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell me your quest in the name of the science of late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the twin Edda was in need of our adventuring prowess. Aye, a little bird song true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the slims. Slims. I will butcher that word. Sorry for that. It is what it is. That curious beast tribe that calls the depth of the Twelve Woods home. The slims are for the most part a peaceful bunch, but to the delight of the elder sightseers who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The twin Adler is of the same mind, and it's precisely and it's precisely for this reason that the Sims relations to the primal Ramun has rise a uh, rise to flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Humans will be humans. Shoot uh, should there be any, should there even be a sliver of a chance that a summoning a primal might disturb the bell? Okay, I'll let me do that again. Oh, now is my other monitor starting to whine. Don't go off. 
Should there even be a sliver of a chance that the summoning of a primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Slim Tribes? It is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry indeed. Do we strike at Ramu or do we leave the Slims to their own ways? That is the question. Yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at that answer. Options about within opinions abound within Gridania, but to listen only to one's own is amongst my greatest mistakes, is amongst the greatest mistake a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the Slims themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where the signs come in. I'm so su <laughs> the sil the Silms of Little Solens remain untempted and have held m many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered reverend. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Slim tradition is slim tradition and adequate bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do it would not do to have any cross cultural folks pass get in the way of air of a productive parlay. En route to Little Solens you will come upon the Hathorn Hut. Our officer stationed there can enlighten you as how to win the Silm's favour. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. Isn't this the guy from the Archery Guild? I think so. A friendly parlay with the Slim. This could be a pleasant enough diversion. Um, the Terranut Hut, was it? Why? I believe the ferry departing from the West Shore Peak should take us straight there. You see, it is. A friendly parlor. Indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Papa Limo. Nothing is as straightforward. Nothing. That's idle hope. Yeah. That is exactly where we have to go. That is the archery guild. Or the... No, the archery guild is over there. The Dragoon Guild? Well, it's with the Dragoon Guild. Ah, the ferry docked at the base of this hill will carry you across the lake to the East Shroud. Right? Once you're ashore, Head due east, you should find Harrison Hut without much. Oh, it's a town! Oh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's go there. And now get our chocobo and start running. I wonder what level these guys are, but I'm thinking not high enough. Level 11. What would bring us to the next one? East. Wait, this is East Shroud. Okay, never mind. I actually assumed this was like a lower level. Stay on the road. Okay, so that is our destination over there. Okay, first stop. Ephrite Crystal. And there's a leave quest over here as well.
Uh, which I kind of want to take. Usually not too difficult. So he's a repre This is always the same. Um, they're going to be testing you. There's no need to actually read that constantly. We're getting a venture point for it. These venture tokens, they are going to be important when you get yourself a retainer. Okay, let's go map. Okay, so this is the one that we need to get all the way over that green line. Okay, let's do it. Let's kill this one first. It's nice and easy. I like that. Let's go. You can. Too far away. This is actually where we need to go. Oh no, it's a scary little ladybug. all of the enemies then again who actually knows oops did not mean to hit that I don't have keybinds on it so that's weird come on That's that's why. Let's get rid of that. This should be 100%. There we go. Uh, luckily, we do get teleport back. Duty complete. And this will actually give us those leaves. Teleport back. I'm sure there's a chest somewhere that I missed. Alright, uh, difficulty speed. Just don't level me up, please. And here we are. Indeed, I am... I'm Elaine of the Twin Edda. I understand you are here to learn of the Sims, yes? For all their whims, uh, they are a weary lot. Particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. Earn their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do we all know. How do you, um, would you know more? Would you know more? You do well to speak with the master of this hut, Rolfe, who is apparently not here. He's forgotten, he, he's forgotten more about the Slims than I'll ever know. Interesting. Oh, this is Rolfe, okay, wow. Yeah, I think then I'm definitely getting too tired. So I'll I'll be calling it here. Uh, once again, if if you're watching now or later, thank you for suffering with me.
I know my English is bad. I hope it will improve. I give no guarantees. I do just love this game. And I've been playing it a lot. And I will be playing it a lot more. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And I'll uh, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.